MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. J.D. Martinez, the American League's leading hitter, continues his bid at a batting title right after this. Blake Snell starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out at me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, he and he still gets people ball. out. It'll be fun to watch this guy work in this and one today. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. And we are ready for some daytime okay. baseball. What and, guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, d -Row. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. Got it, second. The second baseman, Justin Pedroia. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Here's the first pitch to him. Maybe a favorable call there taken for a strike. As usual, no surprise, 72 degrees, the game time temperature here inside Tropicana Field. And a swing and a miss that time by Pedroia as he finds himself in an 0-2 hole now. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you That's understand fun. that he's got his own zone. I you touched on it, Dero. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players, he makes them earn their keep. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. That's Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Now a changeup. Hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. Boston nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Jose Arena, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. It'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty, this should be an interesting watch today because this team's playing well, all facets of the game. But they're facing an ace on the other side today, and they're going to have to jump on him early if they're going to have any chance. Count is one and two now. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Just hung in there on that one. The 2-2 two -two one more time. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at-bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. 
And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. And it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Standing in, Jose Martinez. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First delivery to him on the way. Martinez takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. Head-to-head -head with Jose Arena. He's two for three. Now the 2-1 pitch is taken, ball three. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. In now, Austin Meadows. He enters this one second in the American League in round trippers. This guy's right in the prime of his career right now. The power bat speaks for itself. One of the more dangerous hitters in the game of baseball. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. And he fouls this one off. The next 0-2 oh, no. pitch to him misses outside. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone-cold take. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Sliding into the box, Brendan Lau comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. He comes set. Here's the nothing-and-nothing nothing pitch. Good off-speed pitch had him out in front for strike one. Fouled off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. Standing in now, Dominic Smith. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Smith is below the Mendoza line. A batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. The set and the 1-1. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. So digging in now, Xander Bogarts. And as you can see, he has been slumping offensively. First offering on its way. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. 1-2 and two to the Boston shortstop. And it's fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Renfro will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. That is it. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. 
Here now is Rafael Devers swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. It's a solo home run for Rafael Devers. Number 21 for him on the season. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. In now, Jesus Aguilar. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Here's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. Three homers and a dozen RBIs. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Here's a pop up now. Smith takes charge and he's got it. Two down. That is seven. The center field, number five, Kevin Pillar. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Called strike 0 and 2. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second, and it's 1 0 Boston. Digging in, Willie Adamas. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First offering on its way. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. And he got him. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. At the plate now, Hunter Renfro, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Urena, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2. But now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. And he 
he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. So here's Mike Zanino. He's two for seven in the series so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Down in order go the Rays. They still trail 1-0. So striding in, Alex Verdugo. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. And he falls behind 0-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. One gone here in the Boston third. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First pitch coming. Here it is. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's quickly 0-2. And, Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Adamas picks it up, and there's out number two. Now back, left field, Andrew Benintendi. So bases are empty here with two gone. And with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. One and one the count now. The pitch. Chopped toward the second baseman. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're on top one to nothing. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRozan and Dan Plezak as Kevin Kiermeyer settles in to start the inning. Kiermeyer. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball is in there for strike one. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Count now a ball and a strike. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So with one gone in the inning, we take a look at our current standings, and you can see that these guys trailed by just a game and a half in the division race entering play today. Digging in for his second at-bat, Joey Wendell. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the pitch. That down. One half, nobody on. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. And that's going to be high two and two now. Two 
in the dirt but swung on and missed. Vasquez has it and he makes the throw to first. Wendell is retired two down now. Now batting left fielder. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay Jose Martinez. He drew a walk his first time up. Now the pitch. Hey. Oh and one count and the pitch. Now a breaking ball but it's low. Two out nobody on. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball it's two and one. Line to the right side. Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning is over. Rays go in order, one, two, three. It remains one nothing. Into the box now, Dustin Pedroia looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He's got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. One ball, one strike to count. On ah, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Rays' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Here's J.D. Martinez. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the pitch. Martinez, a 32-year-old veteran. He was a 20th round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this High and deep to left center field. A ball that's carrying. But he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Hey, after that hit right there, D'Earl, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Strike one to start the at-bat. Oh, and one here it comes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. As he'll take a look at ball one. Martinez at second with two down. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. I guess that's what you call a one-man gang. Blasted a home run oh, earlier in the game and gets the double the this hit. time around. If he can get a little help from his friends, they could do some serious damage. Stepping in now, Jesus Aguilar. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He popped out in his first trip. And that misses 1-1. One one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0-2 and 1-1. One and one. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. 
The one two. Fouled away. The one two. Hit on the ground to short. Adamez scoops it up. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Red Sox strike for a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 2-0 Boston. Bottom of the inning now. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Austin Meadows. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2-0. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup, so if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. 3-1. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Ranging back is Pilar. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a solo home run for Austin Meadows. 38th home run of the season for him. And the Rays have cut this to a 2-1 ball game now. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought wrong. Into the box, Brandon Lau. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the run is Benintendi. He's there and records the first down. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And, whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. Now to the plate, Dominic Smith. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Yep, that ball went out. One run, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hope with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for no flushing it and one. coming back here to get strikeouts on the last really? two guys. He's I'm acting like it didn't even happen before. So now to the plate, Willie Adamas. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. one pitch and he can't make contact on the bender 0 and 2 a hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer two quick outs after the bomb and he's got a chance to get out of this nope. now a check swing but he holds up in time ball one you find yourself down 0 2 in these situations it's tough to check your swing right there that was a nice job off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ballgame. And that one ends the inning. The 
sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Kevin Pillar. And a curveball in for a strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. A ball and a strike now. Swung on and missed. One and two now. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Now another one, two. Again, he sends it out of play. The one, two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The white field, number 99. Alec Poguzo. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Mm, oh, yeah. A little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Fifth inning. Two to one our score. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batter, the catcher, Christian Vasquez. So bases are empty here with two gone. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two, two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. We don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Two balls and a strike now. And the 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two and two. I got to count. 2-2. Two two. And good patience three, to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. 3-2. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. That was a great battle right there. He tried now to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. 0-2, oh, the count to Benintendi. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. To one and two now. A swing by Benintendi, and this is driven to deep right. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Andrew Benintendi, a two-run shot. Home run number five on the year. And with it, the Red Sox have taken a 4-1 to lead. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Stepping in, Dustin Pedroia. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Second, second. First offering on its way. Nope, at the ball. 
Count 1-0. Four runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. A ball and a strike. One and one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Grounded back up the middle. And Pedroia's got himself a base hit. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes Count against back. the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. To the plate now, J.D. Martinez. 0-1 the count. Come set, now the pitch. 1-1. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So that's his second knock of the game. And you can add this to his ever-growing list of multi-hit performances this season. Does this guy ever look bad at the dish? I mean, really doesn't. Fighting for a batting crown, throwing out multi-knock games daily. It's going to be a fight to the finish right here. Here's Xander Bogarts now, and it seems like maybe they're starting to get to the guy on the mound a bit now. Yeah, that could be a sign that he's starting to wear down a little bit, Matt. The first thing to go when you're getting tired is using your command. So even if you're throwing strikes, they might be a little bit more hittable than they were earlier in the game. All right, something to keep an eye on if he remains. In. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two-run homer. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 4-1 to Boston. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. At the plate, Hunter Renfro, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Fouled off. So far this season, Renfro is working with a slugging percentage over 550. So there's no denying he's one of the premier power bats in the league. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. So this has been another fine outing for him this afternoon as we check out the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. Here now is Mike Zanino. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Skied into very shallow right. After it is Verdugo. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he's going to make it there. Barely as he's into second base with a double. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. second with one down now and that means Kevin will hit next here comes the first pitch swung on and missed that time it's 0 and 1 
from the belt, the pitch. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. In the dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Runner at second here with one man out. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays' DH. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2, and and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Soft liner toward first. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one now away. Dan, third after three. that base hit, he's extended double. his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. And their runners at the corners now. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Hit to third. Devers gloves it. Pedroia on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. Up next for the Rays, Jose Martinez. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Pedroia will make the catch, and the inning is over. A couple of hits lead to a run here for Tampa Bay. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Red Sox four, the Rays two. Andrew Kittredge takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 36, Andrew Kittredge. Rafael Devers will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted the other way to left center. Martinez arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batter, the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Digging in, Jesus Aguilar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. He's ready, here's the 0-1. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Into the box now, Kevin Pillar just gets a piece of it, strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. A swing and a ground ball to third. Scooped up. Throw in time and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox as they can't add to their 4-2 to two lead. Darwin's in Hernandez enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 63, Darwin Jones, Hernandez.
so coming to the plate, Austin Meadows comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at-bat. It's 0-2 now. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. Check swing here as they'll appeal it down to Eric Summersgill at third, and he says no swing, so it's ball one. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Now that Next to battle be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A-B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A-B. Ready with the 1-0. Hernandez. A Venezuelan-born ball player. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Shoots this one over to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The first baseman, number double zero, Dominic Smith. Into the box now, Dominic Smith. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Here comes the 0-1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now the 0-2 pitch. Count with one and two. And three. a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. They trail it here four to two. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. First offering on its way. Alex Verdugo. Left side, but well foul. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. That well executed okay. two-seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. First pitch coming, here it is. And he popped him up. Lau onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the now second out. Left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Here's a pop-up now. Hey, last two pitches back-to-back -back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Adamas brings it in. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. But they still lead this one four to two. Lee Hembry gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 37, Keith Hembry. 
Now batting, Willie Adamas. He was sent packing on strikes in his last. Here's the first pitch to him. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Three and oh now. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You nope. have to find a way to get on base any way possible. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seven. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead, and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. First pitch of the at-bat. Hunter Renfro stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One one. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Adamas is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a one-run ball game. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. At the plate, Mike Zanino. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. The 0 and 1 delivery. One ball, one strike. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Oh. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A runner at second, nobody out. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call. And his manager, he didn't like it either as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One out and a runner on second base. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. And it's fouled away. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now batting. The third baseman. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Red Sox. Number 72. Joey Wendell will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Slap hard the opposite way. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And that's going to push across the tying run from second, and we're all even at four apiece. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. 
In now, Jose Martinez, as he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. Oh, and two, the count to Jose Martinez. Hey, down in the count, 0 oh, two, I'd like to see a little choke and poke right here. Maybe work it up the middle or opposite field with two strikes. Line drive to left. And Ben Intendi's got it to end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Eighth inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Jake Faria has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. Hits ball one. Boy, that's a tough pitch to take right there. I'm not sure if you're guessing or you're sitting on a pitch. But boy, that was awfully close to being called a strike. 2 0 now. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2 and 1. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now that time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Striding forward now is the DH J.D. Martinez so far two for three in this one in there for strike one. We're in the eighth inning now of a four to four ball game. Behind 0 and 2 now. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, two away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. And, oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we are tied 4-4. Now with the plate, Austin Meadows. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. The right field. Austin. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Oh, not sure where that one missed, and I'm not sure the pitcher does either. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Benintendi. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batter. Number eight. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Brandon Lau. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. One out. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. The 1-0 home. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. And 
at the plate now. Dominic Smith as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now it's 2 and 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the high. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the eighth. A two-run blast is straight away right field as they've taken a two-run lead. That's a big-time bomb right there. It's about time now for the closer to get ready and slam the door on this one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Willie Adamas. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be... pitch coming here it is yeah he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle here comes the 0-1 back up the middle Bogarts has it throw on to first two gone the bat the center fielder Hunter Renfro. Settling in now. Hunter Renfro. First pitch of the at bat on its way. All one. Here's the 1 0. Ball left out. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Hey. Two balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat. Get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Here now the 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two-run home run. Last chance now coming up for the Red Sox. It's the Rays six and the Red Sox four. Nick Anderson comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 70, Nick Anderson. Striding in for Boston, Rafael Devers. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Looked like a breaking ball there, but it missed badly. 2-0. Shot toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile. Bring the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. Stepping in now, Jesus Aguilar. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hold, 0-2. 
you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Back to first, a ninth inning double play, and they're an out away from closing this one out. Oh, man, that's just a backbreaker right there. You get the leadoff man to start the ninth, and you're looking pretty good, right? Not when the next guy bounces into a double play. We'll see if they can get the final out and wrap this thing up. Striding in, Kevin Pillar, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. To first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Six to four, the outcome today. The Tampa Bay Rays came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Jake Faria claims the win out of the pen, his first. Nick Anderson earns the save out of the bullpen, his 39th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. Six runs, seven hits.